Hello everyone, I am Miss Pink and welcome back to Game of Thrones. <laughs> and we are going to continue on with the story. So let us get on to this. Who are we meeting? <gasps> Garrod! Hello, Garrod. What's that? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! I'm supposed to get on your horse and ride the fuck out! Seven hours. I can't believe you lost the horse. I am loyal to your father! I am loyal to have both! Please! <gasps> no! No! Fuck! No! Stop! No! Please! No! Stop! No! Let's play a little game, shall we? <gasps> Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Fuck up. Not what? my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man. Blade man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it <gasps> to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Nothing. My lord? Shh. Your mother's vagina. Shh. I am not getting flayed today. Hear that? I know I heard something. You make a fucking sound and I swear to God, Garrett. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. If you move now, I swear to God, I will cut your balls off. <laughs> They're all like the horses. Man, if I ran, I would have. I would have been caught for sure. Oh, gross. Where's my horse? I need my horse. Am I really going to investigate the filleted man? Or the cut open man? Please don't show this to me! Please don't show me the filleted man! Please! No! No! Oh, come on! Oh, God. Thanks for that! Who are we going to now? I don't think he can handle it anymore. Uh, oh, uh, we're we're back with Lord Ethan. Lord Ethan, what? As I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. <laughs> but three hundred generations of Forester lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. So what will Lord Ethan be? He was fair and wise. What will they call me? And courageous me? in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new Lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Can you give me like more than like five seconds to choose a new Sentinel? We need his 
judgment. Give me like five minutes at least instead I've done of five nothing seconds. Wrong. I was only trying to survive. Oh dear. Lord Ethan. Who is this man? Mist. Who is this man? This Craven is a deserter and a thief. What happened? This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why? Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I have a family to feed. There are not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every Where? day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. No. Where is it? Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Together, we'll Most of survive. us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. And I'll decline my You'll food. You'll address him as Lord. You! Enough! Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. You can send him to the war. What do you want me to do with you? I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on you. Thank you. Uh, take three fingers, send him to the wall. I feel like showing him mercy. Will be best in the long run for those who are loyal. To show I am not heartless. But the next man who thinks he can do it simply because of my decision will get worse than three fingers. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He is still a forester. He still serves House Forester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord. I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. Anyone else who tries to follow suit and try to steal anything for different, swear to God I'm gonna kick your ass! That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Was I right, though? Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing Who wisdom. Choose? Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first oh, small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then. To show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Okay. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. 
Okay. I'm probably gonna choose the wrong decision! to discuss the coin anyways our provisions are rather low my lord I made the count again just to be sure has anything gone missing no doesn't look that way seems Eric was the only one to resort to thievery but I'm still worried about our stores we couldn't withstand a siege my lord if the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out we'd only last a fortnight but there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. That's on you, though. Uh, look at... Why are you... Oh, you're using your fingers to count. How cute. Uh, talk. Duncan. Yes, What's my up? lord. What's up? I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Ask him about sentinels. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Not sure yet. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. I know, jeez. Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Can we talk again? Because I did not get that much out of you. No! Ah, shit. Uh. Let's talk to... Can I talk to my... No, I can't talk to my sister. Yo! Malcolm. Who the fuck are you? Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Who the fuck are Hello, you? Uncle Malcolm. Oh. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. Where are you going? Night, what? Where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos, but she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just bet your britches I'm going to talk to her about this. You've been living a nightmare made real, but you know that just as well. I know what to She's say. my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I Why trust are you him. so sure? Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you. Very Uncle. true. Ethan, I need to talk to you. But uh, okay. What's that, little sis? What did I do? What did I do? Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully, Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now, I'm more concerned about you. Why? I saw what you did to that man. Okay. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. 
And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell what me. you do? What do you suggest I do? You must be strong. Decisive. You are the lord of this house. Remember, you're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. <sighs> I only wish you did too. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Hmm. I feel like she'd pick uh, what's his face. Now, when I say parry, get that sword out. Uh, Sir Royland. Let us sword up. Swing left. Parry. Wrong. I didn't know Sir dogs could hold swords. A word. Of course, my lord. Hmm. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. How are our de How are our defenses? What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Yeah. I do too. Let's talk again. Yes, my lord. I need a sentinel. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house. And everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices, your words are wise. Your, your words are wise, Sir Royland. Thank you, my lord. I will consider them as I make my choice. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. I really do feel like Sir Royland is the best man for the job. At least when it comes to Ramsay Snow, especially when you watch the show. <laughs> I'd rather not be flayed. Uh, I need to speak to my mother, actually. Because... Do it like you mean it. Where's Maester? Let's speak with our mother first. Because... She... Is while I do respect my mother, I would at least like a warning. I would not like. Oh, seriously. <sighs> I really do need to speak with her, though. Do not make a decision without me. I am the Lord of the House. And for something to go on without my knowledge is a slight against me. May not be intentional, Maester. but that is how I will take it. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What's your perceptive? What is it you're doing over here? Perspective. Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life or the lives of those you love. How much do we have? How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. 
Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. <sighs> All right. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, I am. Yes, maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Ramsay Snow is the kind of guy that you need to beat the shit out of. You can't negotiate with that asshat. The only time you can ever get away with anything with Ramsay Snow is if you deal with his dad. But his dad isn't gonna be here. So, we're gonna be fucked. Lord Ethan is gonna be flayed. That is my expectation. Mother, we will need to speak soon. Why do you look so happy, Lord Duncan? You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Whomever's not chosen should feel no shame. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Both of you. Oh, I, I thought I could make a, a my mom. I feel like you would be the best bet, Sir Royland de Gore. You will be my sentinel. God be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now. Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. Don't just panic. There's no though. need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small Let council, is it not? Let Duncan speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say. Duncan? I'm sorry, Lord Ethan. You have chosen your Sentinel. You should hear from him first. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Why can't we get both? Please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. But do you... I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Chair, yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Well, at least they're giving me more than... What should we call it? Why can't I use diplomacy? Why... Uh, no. Use diplomacy and fight. Like... Keep men stationed to where... We seem as a threat. That is our big stick. But we use diplomacy with our little voice. That's what I would do, at least. Pose a threat. You don't actually have to be a threat. Pose as a threat. Sound like a threat. But you don't have to be a threat. Just make them think you are. That would be my strategy. But apparently, I can't do that. Diplomacy. Although Sir Ryland may object, I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. 
I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable I will try. Agreement. But please, Sir If Roy, you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks Can I out. talk to you for a second, though? Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet Treat him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Knowing Ramsay Snow... He would laugh at me for treating him like a lord. But also flame me for treating him like a bastard that he is. But he's a bastard and he knows it. To just meet him in the Great Hall, just me and him. <sighs> well, I did say big stick. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you. It's Tom. a facade. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. What You're the hell? likely to get us all killed. Sit down. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. If only I could My convey Lord, the way I want to. You have named do. your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is... volatile. But that is his strength, too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it... He didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's before. best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. 
Is Telltale gonna do the thing that's opposite of what Game of Thrones does? Where it's like, in Game of Thrones, when you listen to your mom, most likely more often than not, things are gonna go well. They have the common sense. But is Telltale going to take that and twist it so that you should not listen to your mother because what she wants is going to fuck everyone over? Hmm. I can never tell when Telltale Games is involved. Go to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Essos. This is on your head, Thank though. You, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. I'm sure Telltale Games is laughing at me. Ooh, hello. Lady Marjorie's Chambers. Ooh, a stamp. Uh, examine. A strange key. Examine the thingy. Nothing else? Am I really gonna pick up the strange key? Marjorie? Oh. I'm not gonna take that key. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you might want to know. Thank you. I thought we were friends, Mira. When you dismissed me the other day, I won't say it didn't hurt my feelings. We've known each other for years. We are friends. And yet to be treated like that. We are friends, Sarah. Truly. Friends trust one another. They don't hold secrets. Now Lady Marjorie thinks you don't trust me. And she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... Oh, shit. My lady, I got I'll leave you to talk. I got... How is Joffrey? How is King Joffrey, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. What can he I do? wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's uh, nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Ah, I feel so shitty. Milady. Begging your pardon, Milady. How long have you I been there? I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. Uh huh. I just want you to know, I. I can help you if you'd like, and your family, if you're willing to trust me. 
I hear all sorts of things. Things can, that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... You know people. People who'd be willing to help you. And who would that be? Are you talking about Varys? I don't trust guards. Uh, is this almost over? I really need Where pause. The bloody hell is Duncan. Oh, fuck him if he's angry. I'm without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Don't do anything crazy. Sir Royland, I trust you'll keep a level head. Of course, my lord. But the bastard of Bolton can't be trusted to do the same. Of course. Bolton men approaching, my lord! Just keep a level head. That's the most important thing here. Let your anger get the best of you. We lose our, bid st our big stick. And we gain a loud voice. Ugh, him. Something wrong with your gate? Huh. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Come in. Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? Just you. You're welcome inside, but your men are not. Did you hear that, men? The Lord of the House says, Fuck off. Yes, I, I do. I think he's afraid of you. Wait here. For now. Uh, I thought I said just you. A token. For the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Your father. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. Of course not. <gasps> Not bad. Lord yeah. Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Hmm. Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Yes. It's not always the masses that are needed, but the skilled. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Go, Ryan. 
force him to focus on the business at hand. You want our fealty? Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. You got his attention. <laughs> First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. Mm. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. He was just a Yet bolt. your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His what? Right. He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand uh, out in the wind that. and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of <sighs> our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! that one! Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them. You cut them down. We, we have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Ha! Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? Hmm. The little lord does have a point. Ha ha ha! We'll try this. I saved myself. Lord White Hill will take half of your ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord, half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan! They'll help maintain the King's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will, lads. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Yeah. Lord Ramsay. Please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, we're oh, twins. Twins. We're like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. <laughs> yeah. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. Let... We get along well. You've gone too far, Lord Ramsay. I demand you let her go. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? Oh, Ethan! No! What have you done? 
but I don't want a brave lord. Whoopsies! <laughs> Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! My lord! Oh, no! Even though you did bend the knee. Whoopsies! I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Oh, come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Brian! Take the boy as your ward. Oh, no! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Brian! We need Asher! Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the maester quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let him take go! me! You will get all not the options. No, please, Ethan. Please, please, no. 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 Ethan was going Do to die something. anyway. Ethan? Oh, my son. Sorry about talking through all of that. But, uh... Judging by all of the options that I had, it was just... How I was going to die. Next time on Game of Thrones. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. Aha! This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. John! Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again. Yeah. Our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Okay, uh, episode one, Iron from Ice, we get to see our decisions, and, uh, I'm one of the people that, uh, <laughs> whoopsies, let's see, well, either way, it all comes to the end, uh, you always gotta understand, Ramsey Snow is the ass. You and 53.4% left Bowen behind. Ooh, that one really was a tough choice, but I feel like he was going to die either way. You and 70... Uh, whoopsies! You and 73.6% swore lo loyalty to the king. Well, I mean, when you're dealing with Cersei, that's the best option that you can take. Because you're supposed to please her. So that's, that's my whole thought process of it. Uh... In King's Landing, you need to keep your own plans private. And only... And trust no one. And I feel like that little scullion boy, or whatever the fuck he is, he... He deals with Varric. Varys. Oh, I'm getting names mixed up. He deals with Varys. The spider. Uh, 38.9... 38.6% freed Eric. Uh, he was the, uh, oh, I know who he was. He was the thief. I feel like letting him off easy was the best decision, just because of his reasoning, but the efforts later will probably bite me in the ass. Uh, you went 39.6% picked Roiland as Sentinel. I feel like a... Military head is what's for the best. Uh, while diplomacy is a good idea, it's kind of what happens. They're not a not. I feel like Ethan dying was a set in stone thing. Ah, damn it! They did the thing. They did the thing. Telltale, you did the thing. You killed one of the POV characters! You did the thing! God damn it! 
but I feel like he'd be a better head. Well, diplomacy is heavily needed. I just feel like it's better to show military strength, but keep a diplomacy head. Di diplomatic head, there we go. Uh, you and 36.5% met Ramsey at the gate. Because it's a small show for strength, and I probably should have, uh, left him at the gate, but he probably would have stabbed me through the gate, and na 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 But, in the overall, I am in the lesser majority. Let's see how that will bite me in the ass in the end. Continue. Ah, here are the credits. Oh, there's so many emotions from that. <laughs> and yes, I was like, oh, well, whenever Ethan died, that is a huge shock. <laughs> uh, like, it was so much of a shock, I couldn't even react. That's how much of a shock it was. But I think I'm so used to Telltale Games and Game of Thrones that a sudden and unexpected death doesn't make me gasp as hard as it should. It just makes me go like, oh, shit. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> I've been so affected by death. Oh, I love Telltale Games and I love Game of Thrones. Ah. Uh, I swear, it's like a dream to be part of... Game of Thrones. It's a dream of mine. Or at least to meet some of the actors or something. And uh, Telltale Games? You hurt my heart! Oh, I can't wait for the next episode. Oh, it's gonna take forever to come out. Four to six weeks. Ugh. But I really enjoyed it, though. That was a lot of fun. Um, We only met... Three out of the five POV characters. Um, I hope Mira's side of things isn't going to be the one that truly screws me over. Um, let's see. I like Garrod. I really do. I think he has a lot of potential in him. It stopped. I wonder if there's a way to continue on with all of them. Uh, well, there's Asher. We'll be playing a bloodthirsty warrior. And... an Isos, and I hope we can at least meet Daenerys once! She is the queen of my life. Ugh. But I wonder if... Put it in the comments if your Ethan died, or if he lived, or if you think it's a set thing for him to actually die. Because I don't know, otherwise it's just Telltale Games doing the thing. But, uh... Well... That's it for the first episode of Game of Thrones by Telltale Games. Uh, we will eventually find out who our fifth POV character is, I'm going to assume, judging by the silhouette, it is going to be a wildling. That is my assumption for our last POV character. But either way, I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you all have a fan-tabulous day. <laughs>